The place I'm going today is rugged as it can possibly be. No man even wants to try to attempt to go there, but I, I'm going no matter what. Where I've got to go, Wilbur won't make it, so I come up with a brainstorm. I'm going to build some boxes and put them on my mule and take my dog so I can get back in to where I need to. One thing living in the mountains, you know, you have to adapt to all the different situations. These are racks out of a refrigerator. I'm going to use these for my door. My dogs need to get good ventilation, you know, because they're going to be nervous, too, on that mule when the mule's walking. And, and this is all new to the dogs, too. I'm drilling three holes here in case one of them breaks out on me or something, so at least I can tie my door again. The challenge of making these boxes, I can't make them too big and I can't make them too small. I got to try to make them so they're balanced halfway. I'm hoping this wood's about the same weight as this door so it stays balanced, but I want to keep that to the front. So this will be the kind of the more weight, if it is, on their, the mule's shoulder. This is going to go on the pack saddle. This will be up like this, and then this is going to hold that box on there on the pack saddle. It's a trial and error. I just I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I hope this works. It's very important anybody that knows about packing. You got to keep your weight balanced. I think one dog on each side will be a lot calmer for them and a lot safer for them and me and the mules. Get up there. I got control of my dogs. They're not going to be wore out, and I don't have to worry about something getting them until I get to where I need to be. You know, I just need to kind of move into it slow. I don't want to get any dogs hurt or my mule hurt or me. Hopefully my mule adjusts to it and see what happens.